When my parents decided they wanted to adopt a child, they, they knew they wanted a girl, which is why they came to China. And they flew over and through an agency and uh, went through adoption. And that's how they got me. <laughs> then a year, when I was about a year old, we moved back to Canada. I know I was born on December 3rd, and then I was found on December 4th in 2006 on a street in China. Uh, it was near, it was next to a uh, vegetable stand, but I was near a train, and the orphanage that I ended up going to, it was in Nanning. I'm Olivia, and I'm 17 years old. I have a coin from the Canadian Looney, and it has Elsie McGill on it, and it's her with a hurricane plane, because she is the queen of hurricanes and created a lot of these planes. I just think it's super inspiring because it's someone from Canada, it's a Canadian woman who is an engineer, and it just shows that you know she's a really valued member of Canadian society, and it's someone who is not often represented compared to, for example, Marie Curie, who we all learn about in math and science class, but we never hear about Elsie McGill, right? <laughs> she had polio. And she led a whole bunch of women to me making these planes. But it was just a very, it's a very, she's a very feminist woman. I love her. <laughs> Ooh, in 10 days, I'm leaving for basic training. So wish me luck. Uh, joining the Navy, going to military college, <laughs> very exciting stuff. <laughs> Taking a major in engineering. First year it's uh, general engineering, but I'm planning on going into electrical engineering. My trade that I'm going into is Naval Combat Systems Engineering Officer. Basically it's everything in charge of the weapons, so it does include sonar, but it also includes missiles, torpedoes, all of the stuff for fighting. I think Inside Out kind of means, well, as a company it's about fitness, but I think that also means that it's internal fitness and external fitness. So it's not just the physical of staying healthy, but it's also mentally staying healthy and being an overall balanced person. When I first started here, when I was doing bicep curls, I could only do like five pounds, which is very light, not very good. But as I've gotten more consistent and I've trained more, now I'm doing it with 15, 20, and it's a big increase, <laughs> which I can feel when I do work or even just my daily activities. <laughs>